Hey guys, it's Ryan. Today I thought I'd show you a technique used to create plants, herbs and foliage for Hightail. One of the features I'm most looking forward to in Hightail is professions, but closer to the point, herbalism. I'm hoping since we can create our own models, that perhaps we can create our own foliage too. So I decided to make a video to show you how to create your own foliage textures. To make things interesting, we're going to work directly from one of Hightail's concept art pieces. I've chosen this design as it's rather simple to accomplish. If you guys like this kind of content, let me know. I was thinking of creating another video on how to make one of the more complicated plants that are made from both 2D and 3D elements. As a side note, all of the techniques I use in these videos will be directly transferable to Hightail's model maker. So by watching these videos, you'll gain a good understanding of how to make these type of models even before Hightail's release. So to begin our first model, we'll create a single plane inside of 3ds Max. For those who aren't sure what a plane is, it's just a 2D flat surface. So we'll select plane and just click and drag it out on the grid. Change the settings on the right hand side to 32 by 32 and change the segment length and width to 1. Now right click on the model and select move. Now go to the bottom of the screen and right click on all three arrow buttons that are attached to these boxes. This will change our directional coordinates to zero, which is what we need the models to be when exporting them. If not, you'll end up having awkward orientation problems later on. Now right click the model and select rotate. Go back to those boxes and type in 90 in the X direction. Right click on the model again and select move. Now type in 16 in the Z direction. This will allow our object to sit on the terrain rather than being submerged. Just before we export, let's give our plane a name. I'll name it plant underscore 001. While your model is selected, go to file, export, export selected, name our model and change the export settings to OBJ. Select save and tick these few boxes here and select export. We don't have to worry about UVs for this model as it automatically generates them correctly when you make a simple plane. This means we can move straight into Photoshop to paint our texture. So to begin our texture in Photoshop, we need to create a new project. We'll go to File, New, and change the resolution to 64 by 64 pixels. Now change the background contents to transparent, and finally if you wish to view the pixel grid, go to View, Show, and select Grid. Now we can begin painting our texture. As this process takes some time, I'll speed up the video and join you in a moment. I'm pretty much done painting my texture now, and I'll bring it into Marmoset Toolbag 3 to view it. If you don't have Marmoset, you can use Unreal Engine or Unity to view your model. So I've imported the plane into Marmoset and added the texture to it. As you can see, our plant is perfectly positioned on our plane. Now we simply duplicate the model and rotate it 90 degrees. And there we have it, our game ready foliage. This same technique is used in many games including Hytale and even Minecraft. If you'd like to learn something specific about 3D, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing. However, that's it from me. I'll see you around.